Hi, <clears throat> just a quick video here. Um, just a bit of a random and bizarre thing. Um, we've got a couple of FX6s. And so I saw this one of the forums. I saw a video on it and I thought I'd give it a have a look at it. OK, so I think this is probably uh, an issue with Resolve. I don't think this is supposed to be a proper thing, but I'll just show you what I've got. So, OK, so I've got um, four MXF files recorded on a Sony FX6 and Cine IE, Cine I, or whatever their, their color format is. And basically it's X, A, B, C, I. And that's sort of 4K. And over here you can see you've got I, L, M, E, F, X, B, shot 25, EBN. There it is. S, log, gamma 3, 2, 7, 0, 9, Q, whatever that is. Monitors, color space. Right, okay. So I've got these different shots. Now, I put them in a timeline. So there we go. We're in a timeline. And there they are shots different shots and then if we jump to color and this is where the weird thing happens all right so normally obviously this is an mxf it's an avc file and that should be i think it's like mp4 or eight was it avc yeah advanced video codec now for some bizarre reason down here the camera raw taps become active and if i select full res resolve first of all and then i go to clip I now get access to all the controls for RAW and I absolutely don't understand what's going on here. Now, all right, so just for intents and purposes, I'm going to put another node in here notes on this first shot. And then I'm going to put the Sony generic light over the top of it. Sony, what have we got? We've got loads of Sony lights. Sony, 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 Sony. Sony to type A. That's what have I got there? it's a bit dark so we can just wrap the exposure up in there that's a bit mad but it does it so i could control it in here let me get rid of that lot and okay so let's try something else so i'm going to try and change the color temperature so we go daylight doesn't do anything cloudy okay shade tungsten Fluorescent, which is more closer to what it was, put it back to as shot. And also down here as well, you've got, you can apparently debayer, and I don't believe this, you can sort of like debayer it into different color spaces. So let's go P3D16 into linear. That's funky. Right, let's put a color space transformation on this. And then reset color space transformation. Thank you, that one. And then let's put input color space is P3D60 linear. I'm just trying to see if it reacts the same way with something like this. That's got a bit nuts. Take off tone mapping. And let's pump that back out to, let's go up to, I don't know, Harry Y Gamut 3, Harry Lock C, Popolano, Harry. There you go. So it sort of reacts with the standard color transformation plugins. So let's have a look and see if we do another one. Drop down, let's put that to P3 DCI. P3, no, that won't make much difference. Let's try, I don't know. I don't know, let's try S gamma. Then let's just change that to S gamma. Yeah, so. OK, that's nuts, isn't it? Because it's sort of reacting. It's not a raw file, as far as I know. It's YUV422, 10 bit. I don't understand why it's actually reacting. If I do all the controls here in the raw tab, it seems to be working. OK, now up here, you notice as well, it says full res Sony. This is why I think this is probably an error. If you click full res Sony, it says a new thing has appeared here, SDK sharpness. So I don't know what's going on there. Let's change it. Put it back to result. Let's put. Let's reset everything here. Reset. Revert. Okay. And then put that back to Sony. There you have SDK sharpness. Don't can't see that doing anything. Zoom in here. That's not doing anything. I don't think. Let's see sharpness. Don't think that's working. Is it? Can't see anything. Tint works. 
yeah tints working see for the waveforms that it's working the color temp works highlights that seems to be having some effect saturation mid-tone detail so that's really nuts i don't understand what's going on here to tell you the truth i don't know why this the raw tabs become active and it's working that's interesting apparently you can do this with the fx3 if you bring in the mp4s from an fx3 and run them through catalyst browser and run them back out as an mxa and this also works with the fx9 i want to say that the firmware on this these fx6s was this the latest version for anyway so i have no idea very useful obviously if you screw you know white balance daylight if you screw your white balance and obviously you've got really quick fix but i don't understand what's going on here to tell you the truth what's that lift that's a bit drastic anyway if anybody knows what can explain to me what's going on inside that mxf i'd really appreciate it um but yeah i don't think you can do this on any other package i don't think you can do this in premiere but it's actually quite useful if you think about it if you had a ProRes file you should be able to go in and very simply make adjustments like this look at that project clip just use full range sony and then it's just i don't know what happens if you put 709 709 it's a bit uh let's just give that a bit more um exposure i mean shot it's shot at 800 it's a bit garish see it's going right off the top there so i don't know this this feels like a good thing but it it could be something funky with resolves coding this is um version 18.6.2 so if anybody knows this is how you do it maybe on fx6 or on fx9 so if anybody knows what's going on please put it in the commentary anyway thanks for watching